Now, look, Lawrence Olivia did the movie. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Branagh did it on the West End. And Robert Lindsay's done it as well. In I town. know. Yeah. It's a cracking, cracking show, but mm. you've brought it right right up to date to the 80s, we should yeah. say. Yeah, the original piece was set in 57, which, sure. of course, Lawrence Olivia made the movie and also did it at the Royal Court and Kenneth Branagh once again. He did it several years ago in the West End and set in 57. But about 18 months ago, I was approached uh, about doing it. But funny enough, we spoke about it with Sean O'Connor, who's the director, who created Alfie Moon. He worked right. on EastEnders, so oh, I've known the guy okay. for the best part of 18, 19 well, years. Good. And then when we did a reboot of Minder about 12 years ago, we spoke about the entertainer, but fortunately, I was too young then. And right. he said, when you get your mid-50s, is a great time to do it. Mm. So then, about 18 months ago, we sat down and spoke about it. He said, well, we're going to try and bring it and make it relevant to a new generation. Mm. And by setting it in 1982, where the original story, the back story was the Suez Crisis, this is the Falklands, and my character, Archie Rice, is in his mid-50s, he's been doing summer seasons, and he's become a, literally a dinosaur as a performer overnight. And it's been really, uh, as an actor, I've, it's probably one of the toughest, but the most enjoyable things I've done in my 40 years being an actor. Oh. But if you're easily offended, I wouldn't come and see it. Really? Yeah. Have you had people... Yeah, we've stopped? had... I, I think it can be quite misleading. Uh, the, you know, when you call something like The Entertainer, if you've not done your homework and understand it's a John Osborne play, yeah. you know, it pulls no dark. punch. I it's mean, very dark. He is vile. Yeah. You know, he really is. The character, is. You, you know... you And to play a character where you, you need the audience to kind of loathe and detest you mm. is against all my personal principles. Any yeah. performer will tell you, you go out there, whether you're a singer, dancer, actor, or whatever, you go there and you want to be loved. It's in your Dude. DNA. But with Archie Rice, total opposite. He doesn't care how you feel. But by the end of the play, it's interesting. The audience, they understand who he is. Mm. And what's really interesting, this last week, we've just been playing Milton Keynes, and with what's happening in politics as we speak, <laughs> yeah. we think, how much has actually changed? You know, well, you know, my character being somewhat homophobic, racist and sexist, you, you see what's happening in our culture now. And certainly in 82, we had a political, cultural and social change. Mm -hmm. And in the last, what, six months here, it's happening again. Yeah. Things are changing drastically, mm -hmm. whether you like them for the better or for the worse, but things are happening. And so to do this play now feels so relevant. But also, really, as you said, really tough for you and yeah. quite scary, I would have thought. And there'll be people mm. coming who love Junie Stenders yeah. and they're like, oh, this will be, oh, this will be lovely. And then they get the biggest shock of their life if they don't know the story. If they don't know that the man. character is a dinosaur. Yeah. He's out of time. And, you know, the, the poster can be quite misleading, the entertainer, Archie yeah. Rice, song and dance, man. And I do sing and dance <laughs> in it. And, you know, and, and at times, I think I'm being funny. Mm. But he's not. No, he's not. You know, some of the material he's doing. And someone said a wonderful thing. They said, my, my version of Archie Rice is like a cross between Bernard Manning, Frankie Howard and Bruce Forsyth. Right. So there's some dark elements there. Yeah. He's still, and the twinkle in his eye is gone. Right, so he's dead behind he's the eyes. He's dead behind the eyes. Right. And I do this whole speech, which is a wonderful John Osborne piece, when, when I talk to the audience and I talk about being dead behind the eyes. Mm. And I involve the audience. We break the fourth wall, which has never been done in the Osborne play before. We break the foot and I involve the audience. So having a relationship with an audience that I'd, it's it's so tough. Yet yeah, at the end of it, <laughs> I come off and as and we kind of hold a mirror up to the audience. Okay. At the end mm. and to say, right, has has anything really changed mm. since 1982? Have we changed as a society, politically, socially, culturally? Have we changed that much? And sadly. You know, we have an audience, a different generation, like an older generation will come and laugh with me. They'll recognise oh, some of the material yeah, and it's right. like, it makes me feel a bit uneasy. But you've got a whole generation that go, oh my God, did we really, did you, did, did your parents really laugh at that kind mm -hmm. of humour? So the so audience it's uncomfortable, gets, isn't it? It is, it's, it's uncomfortable, uncomfortable to watch, but what a great thrill for, yeah. uh, you know, and it's never been done before, this version in the UK. Right. Uh, around... Uh, but also, or... you are putting yourself out there and, and mm. being scared as well. Yeah. You know, and that's... I mean, you don't need to do that. You don't need to go out there and be frightened. Oh, I have to. <laughs> I, you? Yeah. Uh, you can get caught up in jobs where, um, you know, the money's great and you just get up and, and, and you do the work. But for me, I, I get... I'm, I'm, like, my mid-50s now. And you, try, you kind of, like... 
care less. I, mean, I don't mean I couldn't care less, but, you know, I, I needed the fear. I needed to stand in the wings. And I did it with Jamie when I played the drag queen. Of course, When yes. I last spoke to you. Lovely drag queen. Yeah, love, thank you. <laughs> and I kind of got the fear then. Uh, but now with this part, I stand in the wings every night and I hear the audience come in and I go, right, I've got to go out there and make them loathe me. Ooh. And for wow. me, standing in the wings... It's that's such not a... you, though. No, that's I know it's not me. And it's, it's all against <laughs> all my principles. And, and playing a character like Archie Rice compared to playing Hugo uh, Loco Chanel... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Archie Rice would have hated Loco Chanel. Oh, he would have hated everything about, about yeah. Jamie, wouldn't he? And so that? when I'm in the wings, I'm thinking about, you know, these people I've met over the years, because my dad used to run clubs mm. when I was growing up, so I, I know who Archie Rice is. Yeah. And he's a dinosaur. Oh, no, an absolute dinosaur. Mm. But you do it really well. You Thank do it really you. well. It's going to be going on um, all over the country till the yep. end of November. We're in Malvern this week, then I go Great. to uh, Bristol. And it's, it's everywhere. Uh, it's everywhere, and then it's we fantastic. end up in Richmond. And we'd love to see you back in EastEnders one day. That's yeah. always there, isn't it? It is. Thankfully, I'm not we'd... killed Alfie off. No, no, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> He's the <laughs> drag queen in Torremolinos. <laughs> He probably is. And doing very, very well. Oh, thank you very much, love. Thank <laughs> you. Great to see you. You too, Lorraine. Thank you. LK. Thank you. Oh, yes, of course. SR. 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 Thank SR. You.